Since Gray was an ordinary citizen, rather than a newspaper man, it apparently never occurred to him that time might be important to a news story. He put his camera away in a drawer, and left it there. Three weeks passed before the brother, eager to see if such pictures were actually on the film, took the camera out of the drawer and carried the film off to Inverness to have it developed. Four of the five pictures came out blank, but the fifth showed an odd, worm-like shape, surrounded by mist and spray, weaving through the water. The photograph was published on December 6th by the Scottish Daily Record. Instantly, the story of Nessie took on new dimensions. Newspapers everywhere reproduced the picture. Technicians at Eastman Kodak were asked to examine the negative to see if it had been tampered with. They certified that it had not. Zoologists were asked to look at the picture and offer their expert opinions. Scientists offered a variety of explanations that it might be a bottle-nosed whale, one of the largest species of shark, or that it might even be a rotting tree trunk forced to the surface by its own decomposing gases. In general, scientists were unimpressed, but the public fancy was captured. Other photographs followed. The most famous is probably one taken in April 1934 by a London doctor, Kenneth Ronson. Dr. Ronson, returning from a vacation in northern Scotland to his London home, was passing through the Loch Ness area when he stopped for a short rest near Invermoriston on the road to Inverness. As he stood beside his car, his eyes were drawn to a commotion out on the lake. Something broke through the surface of the water and raised up the head of some strange animal. Ronson was carrying a friend's camera in his car. He had borrowed it to take pictures of trains in Northern Scotland and quickly leaned through his car window and grabbed the camera. Hurrying down the slope toward the water, he focused his lens on the apparition. He managed to shoot four plates of the creature before it vanished.